Let me show you two pictures now. Try to spot the difference between them. If you did not recognize the difference, here are the two images alternating. As you can see now, an entire car in the background is removed but you failed to observe that. What does this tell us about the human visual system? When we look at the picture, we have the impression that we are looking at the whole image in all detail. It doesn't feel like you are only seeing a little part of it. However, in reality, that's exactly what's happening. Your brain was focusing in on particular narrow elements of the picture and guessing what was in the elements that you were not attending to and filling them up for you. This gives you the impression of a complete picture. That's the reason why you failed to recognize a complete car at the start of the video. Your brain was focusing in on the person in the picture and guessing the rest. This concept also plays a critical role in crime investigation. For example, a witness in a crime scene where the offender does not have a weapon is far more likely to recognize him at a later point of time as opposed to when he uses a weapon. This is because the witness focuses narrowly on the weapon and not the physical appearance of the offender. So the brain estimates the physical appearance to some extent and stores it in the brain. This memory is inaccurate, not incomplete. So during the investigation, the witness won't say, I didn't see the murder properly, but instead gives information that is not accurate. This is called the weapon focus effect which is backed up by a lot of research. The investigating officers take this into consideration during the investigation. So finally, what we perceive is only a subjective reconstruction of the reality created by our brain. It may not be what is actually out there.